Let me tell you a story. In 2016, I joined the university to pursue graphic communication and advertising. During the first year, there was nothing serious that required technical work. But in the second year, things got more serious and students were introduced to the computer laboratory to start engaging themselves with graphic design topics and tasks. Therefore, I needed a personal computer that I would be using during non-class hours for extensive work. I got my first computer. It was a Dell Precision M4600 mobile workstation. I installed the required software through the help of the school's computer laboratory technician and everything seemed okay. I had a student version of Autodesk 3DS Max installed. Coincidentally, I happened to find 3DS Max tutorials on YouTube. My colleagues had not yet started experimenting on 3D, but I had already started experiencing my share of pain and agony. Not only was I having sluggish hardware components in my laptop, but also the fact that I was new to the world of 3D. To add on that, I experienced longer duration of time just to load 3DS Max itself. Unnecessary crushing and weird errors were all over the place. That really made me uninstall 3DS Max. My enthusiasm for 3D never stopped there. I searched on Google for free 3D software. That is when I found Blender 2.79b. It was absolutely free and extremely lightweight. But things did not get any easier because not only was I moving from 3DS Max that I had issues with, but also the UI in Blender was just extremely alien. But my frustrations were reduced because Blender was blazing fast. With the help of beginner tutorials from Blender Guru, I gained more knowledge needed for me to wrap my head around X, Y and Z axes in general. I learned how to model very many things, light a scene in cycles using simple lighting techniques, simulations and creating basic animations. I was happy because I was heading somewhere great, not until my urge to create 3D motion graphics and product animation started growing every second that passed by. I now became frustrated because I did not have sufficient hardware and enough technical skill set to create 3D motion graphics and product animation in Blender 2.79b. Even though I tried things out, Cycles on the other hand made my CPU cry out for help during the difficult times of rendering. I dedicated one weekend to conduct another search on Google. I found out that there was a software primarily designed to do motion graphics and product animations. This software was described as intuitive and produces good result with little technicalities. Therefore I installed Cinema 4D R19, and within a few weeks I had learned just enough to make some awesome work. Creating cool animations with MoGraph was a bliss. Above all, Cinema 4D abilities to link with Adobe After Effects were simply a perfect match for me. Things were just fine but my CPU never stopped raising concerns during rendering. In the year 2019, as I was surfing through the internet I stumbled on an article that stated that Blender 2.8 had been released. The article insisted that the new version of Blender had huge updates and it was something that had never been seen before. Apart from just having cycles, it was also equipped with Eevee, a real-time render engine that was sufficient enough to produce awesome results quite fast. The other reason why I love using Blender is because of geometry nodes. This tool is so powerful because it can help you generate cool animations that would have taken longer if you apply keyframes everywhere. Even though in most of my animations I still use keyframes, I keep on replacing little by little the amount of those keyframes with geometry nodes, as I continue to acquire more experience. In conclusion, what I have learned in my journey of 3D graphics is that one will choose a suitable software based on the following. Number 1. Availability of the software. This is in terms of if the software is ready to just be downloaded for free or if it is paid for. Number 2. Availability of necessary learning materials. If beginner tutorials and an up-to-date documentation are easily accessible on the internet, then the learning process will be straightforward. Number 3. Computer hardware components. Rendering out your animations requires a good graphics card. Therefore, render engines like V-Ray, Maxwell, Cycles, Octane, and many more that portray real-world lighting, require powerful graphics cards. However, graphics cards that can handle the mentioned render engines, are too pricey for some people. But with Eevee Render, even a cheap low-end graphics card can be used to get the job done quite well. 